While thinking about all the very best winter food, I have spent an enormous amount of time lately cooking with chocolate. Well, what I was trying to do was to create a completely new style of self-sourcing chocolate pudding. That was actually a failure, but what I did create in its place. I'm not sure if it's a pudding or a cake, but I will tell you it is my new all-time favourite chocolate recipe. This recipe actually gets made in three parts. There's a cake batter, a custard and a syrup. Now, for the cake batter, it's really easy. You just start with 150 grams of unsalted butter and the same amount in chocolate. And we're just going to melt that gently. Once it's melted, just set it aside for a minute. Next, you want three eggs and 150 grams of brown sugar and pop those into your stand mixer. Now, you could do this with hand beaters if you like, but you've got to beat it pretty solidly for five minutes, so I reckon a stand mixer is definitely a better way to go. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. It's lighter, both in colour and also it's gotten aerated. But the really interesting thing is that it's gotten thicker. Now, that's unique with brown sugar. It's a good trick to have in your arsenal of recipes. Into this, we're going to add our chocolate. That has made the coolest pattern. I'm going to get a photo of that. I'll pop it on Facebook for you. One hundred grams of almond meal, seventy-five grams of self-raising flour. Little pro tip for bakers: that's exactly half a cup. And then for flavour, a little bit of vanilla and some dissolved instant coffee. All right, that's the cake batter taken care of. Next, the custard. This is one of the easiest recipes in the kitchen, I reckon. We've been making this for years. So you start with a cup of milk and just bring that up to a simmer. Meanwhile, in a bowl, one egg, one hundred grams of brown sugar, a little bit of vanilla and 25 grams of corn flour. You pour in the hot milk, return it to the stove. When it simmers, it'll have thickened, and there's your custard. Oh, can I add some chocolate for good measure? Oh, I should just sit down with a spoon and eat this, shouldn't I? No, I'm going to resist. We've got a dessert to make. So I found the easiest way to put this together is actually using a piping bag because you need to put down a layer of your cake, then you cut it in the middle and then more cake over the top and you spread it out with a palette knife. This needs to go in the oven at 160 for about half an hour. Meanwhile, we need to do that third element I was telling you about, the syrup. It's just a matter of grabbing about half a cup of brandy and a little bit of extra brown sugar, combine them in a saucepan, bring it up to a boil and let it cook for a couple of minutes, just until it's syrupy. When your cake or pudding is baked, you need to brush it with that syrup we've just made and then let it cool for about five minutes. Trust me, they're going to be the hardest five minutes you've waited your entire life. I'll top it off with some fine chocolate shavings because, to be honest, by this stage, why not? Like I said, I can't be sure whether this is a cake or a pudding, but it is certainly delicious. And I will make you one promise. One bite, that's all it'll take. You won't be thinking about whether it's a cake or a pudding. You'll only be thinking about one thing. We're going to have another bite.